everyone, welcome back to the Unboxers, and today we have for you two new McFarlane action figures. Yes. This time it is Lex Luthor with the power suit. Looking very Buzz Lightyear ish. Yes. <laughs> and. To Metropolis and Beyond. <laughs> and Superboy Prime. All right, so let's take a look at them in the box. So he looks really cool. He's got all these little yellow tubes going around him. And there's his artwork. Oh, that's really cool. Really great artwork, which is going to be on a card in the inside. And then here's some of the other awesome figures you can collect. And ta-da! There we have Lex Luthor power suit. Looking pretty cool. Looks like he comes with an extra set of hands. Whoa! Yeah, that's that's. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Buzz Lightyear stand on um, yeah, skeleton so. like that. So yeah, that might that might change who you think this is. All right. So that's a really cool artwork for him as well, and you'll yeah. get that in his collector card. All right, so we want to say a great big thank you to McFarlane Toys for sending these to us for free to share with you today. And we're going to go ahead and get them out of their packaging and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. Okay, and there they are. So who do we want to look at first? Um, I guess Super let's boring. look at... Okay, okay well, well, sure, we'll go with Lex. Okay, so he does come with... Oh, let's show his collector card first. Uh, he does come with an extra set of hands as well. So there's his card, just like the artwork on the back of the box. Um, and then there's his data profile. Hold on, let me get the focus. There you go. In case you want to read up on Lex Luthor in the power suit. And he does come with the stand, um, the regular stand with the little peg there and the DC on there. Um, the hands that he comes with. Okay, so he has like open grip, or what do you call this, open fist or kind yeah, of grippy yeah, hands. Yeah, like grippy hands. And then he has more of a, this is the villain hand. We don't know why. <laughs> yeah. It's like a choking it. Well, it's kind of funny because and it's like, is, it's almost like he's doing the, yeah, he's got like the first two fingers and them. there's a space like. Yeah. Are you doing like a Star Trek thing? Yeah, or? what's going on here? And then he's got um, the solid fist. So, there you go. Alright, let's take a look at him. Alright, looking pretty cool. Look at that. He's giving you the stink eye. Yes, That's definitely, he is definitely the stink eye. The stink eye. <laughs> um, can you move him a second? Oh, yeah. Because he's trying to steal he's the thunder. Like, he is back there stealing my focus. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at his suit. Uh, he's got the green, gar um, what do you call these, gauntlets mm -hmm. on his arms, as well as the green torso piece of his power suit. Um, this part of the power suit, this is like rubbery, so they can have more range of motion for his, um, for his shoulders and everything. Um, his head, he's looking at ya. Um, he definitely is bald, for sure. Um, they gave him some great um, facial features. Like yeah, his, you can I definitely do, tell. Yeah, I definitely do. I do like the the uh, the facial sculpt on this. Yes, he definitely looks older. Definitely looks menacing, and he's got all the. I don't know. I just I believe he could almost like step into real life. Um, and he's got the purple in between here, in between where the the uh, power suit um, gathers up, and then he's got purple for the you know like the joints and stuff, and um, some purple in between, and green shoes. And I've never read, I've seen Luthor in the power suit in the comics and, and cartoons and whatnot, but I've never heard, like, whether this is intentional or not, but the, um, Hello. the, the, mm -hmm. whatever that is in the front, uh -huh. um, I, it's almost like, you know, I want to, I don't want to be outdone by Superman or whatever, so it's, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but it almost looks like it's, a, you know, like, Lex Luthor, like two L's, now, oh, now yeah. one of them's flip-flopped, but... Yeah. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just, they just did a design and it just happens to kind of look like two opposing L's. Or does that kind of look like the Atari symbol or something? Yeah. <laughs> so, pretty cool. I definitely think he has an awesome facial sculpt, and I love the shade of green and purple that they chose to use for him. It's really cool. Yeah, and it's almost got like a metallic sheen to it. It does, yeah. Very, very true. All right, let's show off his articulation. All right. So, let's take a look at him. So, he's got... Um, he's going to have the uh, 22 moving parts that the McFarlane's have. So he's got, um, he can uh, look side to side. He can kind of do the tilt. Um, he can look down uh, to a certain 
extent. Um, he can look up slightly. Um, the, with this being soft, it will allow him to kind of look up. So that's pretty cool. Um, he's got great range of motion at the shoulders. They will go up full T. And it actually has the double butterfly shoulders, if you can see like the extra point in there. Um, and of course they will rotate um, and if I can remember, there it goes, uh, rotate as well like this as well as extending. It has the, um, the bicep swivel, the double elbows, and the, um, the wrists will uh, bend as well as uh, pivot. So he's got like a double elbow, or excuse me, a double wrist. Um, he has two points at the torso, the waist. You can see moving in the mid torso moving separately. So it will allow some some cool um, twists of his torso. He's got um, Whoa, great range of motion do the splits. At, the, uh, at the hips. So that's really cool. He's got the double knee and then of course the ankle and the ankle will rotate as well as bend and of course the toes so I think I need me a power suit yes <laughs> so um, I always kind of thought this was a cool look for Luther like when in the um, some of the older action figures and stuff that I've had so I'm glad to see them do that in McFarlane and kind of bring it you know modern all right now it is time for Superboy Prime now he comes with his collector card which is really cool um, I love the, I mean, he is like so clear on that. And then, um, so here, if you want to pause it, he has quite a long data file, but I'm glad that they put that on there because he does have a rather extensive story. Yeah. Basically, he comes from a different universe. Uh, am I right? Yeah, he's like an alternate. Alternate um, universe. Yeah, Superman from an alternate um, dimension, I guess, alternate reality. And so if you read the back, you'll get more details, but he kind of waffles between... Um, good and bad a yeah. little bit so um, anyway read the card and you'll find out all right so and then he came with the flight stand which is always cool yeah I do like it when um, they include the flight stands um, those are always fun to get some interesting poses out of and there he is so he's got the Superman S on there with um, it's actually a black background to that even though his suit is like a really uh, bright royal blue he's got the silver um, Silver armor. It's definitely the colors. I'm. I mean, obviously, Superman. You know, blue and. I would say the colors you're used to seeing, but for some reason, it just doesn't look. You know, yeah. like regular Superman, of course. Um, and he's got this. Obviously, he's not meant to. You know, be exactly like that anyway. But um, he's got these tubes coming down, and they're attached, and they're rubbery, so they should uh, still give him some motion. He's got. Um, some tubes attached to his gauntlets as well. Look at his hands. So there's his hands. Um, and let's take a look at the cape. So the cape comes right out of this um, piece of armor that's going around, almost like um, football shoulder pads. Yeah. And then it comes down into two points longer on the ends than in the middle. And it's got the really cool folds in it as well. Um, he also has, I'm trying to figure out how where this. Those two. So he's got ones coming up from his back um, into his chest here. And um, so it's kind of cool. It's definitely something not used to seeing on Superman, but this is not Superman. This is Superboy Prime. He's got to get it right. But uh, he's definitely yeah, got so the curl going like, on. They do like a, you can tell, even if, if it was just the head, you could tell, like this is still supposed to be like a Superman. Oh, yeah. But it's, sure. it, you can also tell it's a little different. Right. From the other head sculpts that have yep. been done. And I don't remember seeing Superman in a lot of silver either. So yeah. That's probably what's throwing it. All right. You want to show off his articulation? Okay. So he should have a very similar articulation. Hopefully these hoses don't impede him much. But So he can look side to side. Uh, he can also um, do the tilt. Uh, he can look down and let's see. He, it looks like this collar may keep him from, I don't want to take the head off, but I don't think he can look up as quite as much as, as Luthor can. Um, he can still do full T at the shoulders even with these shoulder pieces. And he also has the double like butterfly 
shoulders and they will rotate um, as well as now he will have some some uh, issues with range of motion there but um, he has the the bicep swivel the double elbow and the same wrist articulation as Luthor does it will twist and uh, bend uh, he also has the two points at the waist uh, um, this one actually has even more range of motion than, uh, than the Luthor did, but um, you can see the two different points, um, and so it will definitely let you get some interesting like flying and cool. um, action poses. He oh. also has really great range of motion at the hips. Even with those tubes. And uh, yeah, and this... Um, this centerpiece is actually, you can see it actually bends, it's like soft, so it, it actually allows even greater range of motion than if it was like a hard piece of plastic. He has the double knee and of course the ankle. Um, it will, it's a little impeded by these the uh, boot pieces, but it still does have uh, articulation and it does uh, bend as well. And of course the toes. So really cool that um, that's one thing that with the McFarlane he's not afraid to do some of these less mainstream characters so you get to see um, figures that you wouldn't normally see otherwise. Right. So very Might cool. Be the first one I've ever seen of this guy. Yeah. All right, so there we have Lex Luthor in the power suit and Superboy, Superboy Prime. Prime. So we want to say another great big thank you to McFarland Toys for sending these to us for free to share with you today. These are going to be a great addition to our collection, and um, yeah, and the fact that they have these, you know, this awful off the wall people, that's really cool. Yeah, to be able to see them in figure form. Yes, and so, stay tuned. We do have more from McFarland coming. So yep, always exciting. Yes. All right. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.